So I've been this question a lot. How do you make a 4K video or a, a higher resolution video look smooth and very clear on Instagram? Because as you know, Instagram compresses everything. So I'm going to show you what to do in uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. So follow along. First thing we want to do is actually open a new project, obviously, just like you're uh, making a timeline. We'll just title this 4K IG and we'll start the video, start the project. Um, so once the, uh, it, the window opens up, you want to actually, we're just going to drag um, one 4K file into there right now, just for the purposes of this video. You obviously um, want to drag into your timeline. And then once you're done doing all the editing mumbo jumbo, so let's just pretend I edited an entire video. We want to hit uh, Control M on a PC rendering screen. Now this is this is the important part. This is where you actually make the video look good. Because as you know, Instagram compresses everything video wise down to 720p. So obviously if you're doing um, 4K, that's quite a bit larger file, quite quite a bit better. I mean it's just gonna be clear, but if you compress a 4K video down into a 720p video, you can um, you can get pretty clear, pretty clear video. So what we're gonna do is you see up here format you wanted to have it uh, H.264 and this is what the default is, is match source, high bit rate. We don't want to use that. We want to go down to, I like to use um, either Facebook 4K or mobile device 4K. But because we're doing this for Instagram, we're actually going to do mobile device 1080p. So what that's going to do is that's going to compress our 4K video right now down into a 1080p video. So we scroll down here on the video section. This is the one to which you need. You don't need the new any any of these tabs except the video tab. So we want to make sure that the uh, width is 1920 by 1080, which is 10, 10 uh, which is uh, HD. The frame rate obviously matches what we recorded in, which was uh, 30 frames a second or 29.97. Um, square pixels you want it to be 1.0. Now this is very important. See here it says render at maximum depth. We want to click that. We keep scrolling down. Um, now this is this is probably one of the most important things that people get wrong. Where it says profile, it says baseline, main, high. Uh, baseline is very low quality. High is like I would say, eh, kind of HD. Um, high ten is something you're going to use for like a high dynamic high dynamic range video, which a lot of cameras can't really do. So we're going to click on high. Um, what high does, it lets you always render with high whether you're rendering a 4k video a 1080p video a 720p video it, it, it's high quality just think of it like that high equals high quality and levels 4.2 then we keep scrolling down now this is another important thing the uh, bit rate what exactly is a bit rate um a megabit per second is essentially how much information is being shoved into that video so the higher the bit rate you record in the more information the video has the better it's going to look the better the color is going to look now the video that I have on here is 4K and it, I recorded 100 megabits a second. So we're going to go uh, one pass is it would literally render the video one time. Two pass it would render it two times and uh, CBR is constant bit rate. So if we did CBR we just have to pick this it would it would render it at a constant bit rate. We want to do two pass. Um, target bit rate obviously this video was recorded 100 megabits so we're going to actually do the target bit rate of 100 because what what I said was Instagram compressed everything. So Instagram is going to compress everything down to probably 720p, maybe 15 megabits a second. So if we have a 100 megabit file, it's more information to compress down, so it's going to look better. So if we would just start this off at uh, 20 megabits a second, it would still compress that down. But a 20 to 15 is not going to look nearly as good as 100 to 15. So same thing works with YouTube. Um, it's a way to get around the system. You actually. It's a whole other video, but you'll actually put a higher bit rate in it when it compresses it down. It tricks the it tricks the software into actually using a higher bit rate. So we're gonna do 100, and then max bit rate. Well, I guess uh, for 1080p, unless you go to 62.5. So we're gonna do the maximum you can do is 62.5. Um, I always try to get higher uh, for 4K. I always do 100 for 1080p, um, 62.5, uh, and then we want to scroll down again. Two passes. Use maximum render quality. Make sure that's clicked. We're going to pick a location. We'll just do the April file. Make sure that's saved. And you hit export. So it's going to go through its thing. Um, obviously, depending on how fast your computer is, this is where it's going to render either faster or slower. I have a fairly quick computer. Um, in fact, I have a really quick computer. It's a RTX 2070 
um, 64 gigs of RAM. I have an i9, the ninth gen i9 processor, and Optane memory. I've got, you know, it's, it's just like literally the best computer you could buy at its time, which was two months ago. So it's probably super out of date now. But so now that that's done rendering, um, you find the file and you either put it on Dropbox or you somehow get it to your phone without losing any quality. So I would literally upload the Dropbox and then download it from Dropbox to your phone and then upload it to Instagram. And once you do that, your video will be very high quality Instagram. That's how people do it. Um, they don't, they don't record the video on their phone and, and download it straight to Instagram because it just doesn't work. Or, and you can use a better, better camera like a DSLR or a professional video camera and you can make the video for Instagram. And of course, if you want the uh, Instagram um, size, you can change that in in this or make sure when you record you record knowing that there's going to be a line so i hope that video helped i hope we didn't ramble too much um again if there's any other videos you guys want to see like this please let me know and i'll feel free to make them so 614 live peace and you're welcome